Hello, this is Stratis Strate, and today we are playing another episode of Great Tech New Horizons Season 2. And the last episode, we made this guy, but we have some, some differences. Firstly, uh, I had a small issue with uh, stocking, because it also reads its own inventory. So I did something. Uh, I technically placed four of this guy. They are relatively cheap. Just high voltage circuits. And yeah, one is connected to this. One is connected to the to the to the these. And the other two are connected to those two. Uh, I had to do that because uh they didn't start uh, running. Uh, the problem will be 100% solved after we move to AE. But we are currently on the logistics pipes age. Actually, I can move to AE right now, but I want to move it after the Mars. So, currently, what we are going to need for Mars? Actually, we can basically rush to the to it, but I don't wanna. I want to make sure I made every possible pa and actually not every, but most of the possible uh, passive uh, productions as possible. And one of them was polytetrafluoroethylene. I made this. It's a simple recipe. A simple automation. Uh, this guy makes hydrofluoric acid with uh, hydrogen and fluorine. Fluorine is not automated yet, but I can uh, produce in a huge amount uh, relatively easily. And the output goes here to here. And then uh, we also add chlorine to it. And then we get uh, chlorine and methane. Then we get tetrafluorate, uh, tetrafluoroethylene. And then we combine it with oxygen. Th then it becomes polytetrafluoroethylene. And that's something we're going to use a lot because it's required for LCRs. Uh, all the previous LCRs are manually made. Uh, I use my manual made uh, polytetrafluoroethylene, but from now on, it's automated. Anyway, uh, there's also one more uh, thing that I did. But first, I need to sleep and then show you. And okay, it's morning. And go to the here a literal greenhouse. Yep, this is going to be our new greenhouse. Uh, we are fine. Uh, I will probably move, uh, make it longer around here and here. So, something like that. And uh, temporarily add water like this. Uh, it's not, this system is not going to use much water. So I end up using this. And. Yeah, this episode, actually, we are going to automate this guy, this area. And for that, we are actually going to need train two, trains two. Trains are going to be super important for us. And yeah, and so you are now unnecessary. You served your purpose. Uh, because I removed this area. And I have to remove this guy too. Anyway, uh, one more thing. Uh, actually, not one more, but a few more things. It's about the channel. Uh, channel is slowly growing, but uh, it still requires your help. I Any feedback would be super useful. Also, interactions in the channel would be super amazing for the algorithm's sake. Uh, it's actually quite getting better because it, uh, my main objective was getting an international audience uh, 
instead of my original Turkey, Turkish ad audience. And it's getting somewhere. It's uh, not still not uh, half, but around... Actually, it's around the half at the moment. And I, I want it to grow. Uh, not for any monetary etc. reason, because I, I only thing I care about is I like sharing what I do. <laughs> and sharing my passion. But I still want to, this channel to grow. I also love reading the comments, etc. So yeah, that's an important point for me. And uh, when a video, even it's getting a lot of views, uh, if it's uh, not getting any comments or uh, a, slow, a small amount of comments, it uh, kind of saddens me. Anyway, uh, one more thing is I'm planning, I'm wondering, should I make another base when I start with uh, apply energy sticks? So, yeah, in that case, uh, in a relatively new uh, building, and not relatively, but completely new building, and then slowly moving the systems there. That's an option. Uh, be and why is... Oh, okay, I started uh, spawning creepers. Okay, okay. Uh, I get it now. Uh, that's the taint. Uh, not taint. Uh, warp. Anyway, that's an option uh, for us. I also... Can, uh, ch can just able to uh, grow my base around here into the mountain, and the mountain is huge, actually, and make a really interesting mountain base, I turn this into a really interesting mountain base, and this side is just an extension. Uh, in that case, this is currently the center of the building, and it will be moved around here, uh, here-ish. Uh, another option is uh, ma making another base and moving everything slowly. Uh, in that case, I will probably make a uh, quantum ring and then uh, temporarily connect two ME networks between the bases. But that would be also a bit expensive. Let me just uh, quantum ring. Quantum ring. Okay, it's not that expensive. Okay, it's not that expensive, actually. Like uh, Andrew says, look at the quantum ring quest. Is there a quest for it? It should. There, there should be. There should be one, and uh, but I cannot find it. Uh, but yeah, that's an option. Uh, that's what I'm planning to do. And for base ideas, I can use a personal, <clears throat> a personal dimension, but in a personal dimension, I, I'm not a fan of uh, using direct, uh, directly using a void dimension. I actually did that several times, and I'm wanting a something different. I can just move, for example, here-ish, or here-ish, and make another base with a lot different uh, built language, I can find another biome, an, an interesting biome to get in, uh, or uh, I can move to space. In that case, I can build a space station. Uh, space building the space station is not that expensive. Uh, it's still a bit expensive, and uh, I still need to do maintain one thing, uh, actually two things. First, uh, the oxygen. I have to be conscious of the oxygen, so every room will be isolated in that case. And then uh, I also have to maintain the spin and 
whenever I try to make make an extension to the base, I have to add more uh, thrusters. The thrusters are not that uh, hard to make. And let's look at the space a rays. Yeah, and as you can see, those are the build materials for the uh, space stations. Okay, and those are actually quite nice. And uh, I also need thrusters. But uh, titanium, uh, we have a lot of titanium and have you to play it, etc. That's actually not that expensive. Uh, this kind of bit. <laughs> but we can manage it. Uh, we can do it. And uh, actually, we are going to make a space station if. Uh, if we are going to make a space station, I will do it after uh, the Mars. So that's that. But uh, another issue is I have to maintain a rocket in the base, uh, in the overworld. Actually, in that case, I can make some auto. I can still keep some automations here in the overworld. But uh, most new stuffs and big st uh, etc. can be still on the moon, uh, not moon, uh, space station, and connected with quantum ring. Yeah, that's an option actually, but I need to have two separate energy networks in that case. Yeah, I can do that. And in that case, I, I can actually keep a rock. Yeah, ro rocket equipments here, and I can always keep a set uh, spare rocket in the system. Yeah, that's an option. Oh, I, I also I'm thinking about this because uh, the spa spare rocket because if you fell from the uh, space station, you directly go uh, go back to the Earth. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, that's a thing. Or I can move to Mars or Moon. The days will be longer in that case. And also I still have to struggle with oxygen. But I won't have to struggle with the uh, gravity. But uh, the main advantage of sta space station will be the vertical, uh, both vertical and horizontal uh, space that I will I will have. Yes, I have that advantage in the Void World too, but I did a lot of Void Worlds bef before, and I only did one space station for now. But I'm still thinking about it. It's still a bit long way uh, around uh, after. Or I can just keep building on this building, but I kinda sorta getting tired of this design language. And I kind of like trying new things. Anyway, that's my that was my rambling. And yeah, uh, we need to automate our thingy magigies. And let's get the crop managers. And uh, for energy, I should actually I can make a. Uh, steam generation but i have to add more water here because this is this place is not going to use that much power but it's still power nonetheless anyway i'm actually no no i actually have a much better idea Solar panels. I usually do not like solar panels, but in a building like this, solar panels actually make, makes a lot of sense. A huge amount of sense. And I can simply use them. And crop managers. Yeah. And, by the way, I keep this area open because I will build an extension here. And make a train station and i make these uh, water silos uh, water tanks here with a much better uh, an interesting uh, design 
And so let me just do this to no sorry. Ah okay, this. And this. Actually no, you should be connecting this and this. Ah okay. Let's break this. <laughs> anyway. Uh yeah. We have a water source here. Uh, because uh, some of the crops are going to need water. And I will feed water from here. I will connect a logistics pipes network from bottom. And uh, solar pan panels on top. So it will be quite nice system. But for the solar panel I need, I require something interesting. I need to make... A dire crafting table. And I also need to build the train station part both here and around here. Here ish, I guess. Actually, I can make the train station here and then expand it here. Yeah, that might be work. Uh, that might work. Anyway, uh, let's look at the dire crafting table uh, and why I'm requiring dire crafting table. Uh, solar panel uh, first let's show the solar panel okay uh, the base solar panel is producing one eu per tick this guy uh, produces eight eu per tick and what i need is 16 eu but uh, we can't we do not have any 16 eu per tick one but we have a 32 eu per tick one I actually, no, I don't need, need uh, this. I can use this. Oh, no, I cannot use this. No, I cannot use this because I still require this. Yeah, I, I need a die crafting table. Yeah. And radiant, molten solder and iron, reinforced aluminum plates. Okay. Red alloy plates. Okay, industrial diamond. Industrial diamond should be... Uh, du dual, uh, coal chunk, yeah, yeah. Uh, this is going to be this is going to take a while, but with that we can make a low voltage solar panel, yeah, and voltage refrigerator in sheet. Okay, superconductor, medium voltage wire. Yeah, I can. Uh, helium, okay. I we can make it tiny steam, yeah. And so let's look at the dire crafting table. Dire crafting table, uh, high voltage components, uh, one IV thing, magic, crystal matrix, and how okay, you're gonna require nether star. Ah. Uh, yeah, it's gonna take a lot. Actually, should I should I move it? Benzene, it would be much more easier, guys. Yeah, I think I'm going to move it to the benzene. Ah, uh, I'm lazy. Anyway, let's uh, let me get everything ready, and then we will build our system. And I'm back with a bridge. Yeah, we made a bridge. To bridge our connection between those two lands. Yeah, uh, I tried to make a pun, but I couldn't uh, find a better one. Sorry. Anyway, <laughs> let's come here. And we have a really interesting and funny friend. Locomotive. And this guy's. And this guy. And few more things. This guy's. Yep. Uh, electric tracks. And what we're gonna do is just... Uh, put everything here. By the way, how did I make the fences? With carpenter's block. That's it. Anyway. These tracks, uh, they carry electricity. 
and they used with combination of this guy and this guy and this guy electric feeder i will put the electric feeding units here or here actually yeah let me just do that and i'm gonna need this guy actually i don't like ah that's better and should i put a gravel route route a uh, road here maybe and what we are also gonna need is a generator a simple generator and that would be let me just get basic not basic steam turbine actually wait a second so we can use the solar solar panel add on solar panel no no not not those not those guys but maybe those that guy got a marsen plate we got but nah don't uh, don't worry about that let's just use basic 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 where are you ah basic combustion generator basic gas turbine thank you thank you thank you and i will put you let's think about it i will put you around here and this is going to be a bit connect a bit of a pit stop stop for this guy also i we will have to move up add our logistics pipes network here too so we are going to put some electricity here in any way and we laid some tracks here and what we're gonna need is this guy this is the default route it will go there and when it comes here it will go here uh luckily when i it, i just placed uh, it's the best possible way but if you want to try to change the orientation you can use this yep like just that any crowbar would work anyway we need to and but you just try to de uh, decide to use me as a step anyway we need to put those guys here this guy here and Let's dig a bit more, uh, because we need a maintenance hatch here. Actually, let me just dig around here to right around here. Yeah. Okay, we now have our hole, and what we're going to need is actually a transformer, but a bit different kind of, kind of transformer yeah it's going to be this kind of transformer and you probably see this guy for the first time i'm not going to uh, be surprised because it's literally the first time you will <laughs> and it's probably the first and the last time we are going to use this guy it's the ic2 one the vanilla ic2 one and yeah it's required for this guy to accept energy and now this system should be okay and so let's get some benzene i should have some i will end up moving with thingamajiggies but currently i do not have uh enough pipes and, and i have to do them but i want a proof of concept and with that, uh, let's sleep a bit and make it day. And then we should be have our electric track. And by the way, it's currently do not have much charge, but uh, after a while, after they get some charge, please, but please do not stand on them. Actually, I should have move it a bit closer come to think of it now we just made something else uh, electric meter 
And this electric meter can read the charge in these guys. This and this. And crowbar. Voila! Oh, wait. Wait a second. I might need to use the good old uh, Railcraft one. Okay, we made a vanilla one. And with that, I should be able to... Yeah, I can orient you. Anyway, uh, that aside, let's give it a test drive. And running. Voila! And we are... Uh, not this. Yep, we are riding a train. <laughs> and that's the screenshot time. Actually, the screenshot time. And voila! The entire train is going to take this much. Uh, area and uh, two thingy magies one tank cart and one chest cart let's sh shut it down and let's take the fluid loaders they're here uh, item loader here sorry item loader tank actually no let me just think. Yeah, that would be a be better place. Item unloader. And then one block uh, after it, the fluid loader. Fluid loader doesn't need, uh, doesn't need, have to be on bottom. But uh, the loader one doesn't need need to be on bottom but unloader one sh should be on and let's get the locking tracks thank you and the fleet loader okay that should be enough and a fleet unloader uh, okay and fleet loader okay this will fill benzene to this guy and this this will unload from this guy so, not this guy, sorry. I have to take this and get a chest. Let's take a diamond chest. And then make a diamond chest minecart. Okay, that should be enough. Yep. Diamond chest minecart. And we can scan it. Nice. Minecart with diamond chest. Thank you. And crowbar. Link started. Link created. Link started. Link created. Thank you. And actually, I have to. Can I, can I do this? Uh, chest minecart. Uh, cart. Cart and uh, die. No, it's not. Uh, cards and uh, can I see it? No. Ah, yeah, I can see it. No, I cannot <laughs> do this. Uh, so let's do the hard way. And I broke it. Actually, let's make it in the first one. And I have to craft again. Okay, we add this guy to the filter and. Link started, link created, link started, link created. Thank you. And let's get some benzene too. And with that, we will be ready. Actually, not ready because we are still gonna need the other side. Okay, this side is also ready. And with crowbar, I'm gonna... Boring. Okay. I want the entire orientation in one way only. So it's a another way of uh, forcing everything in one direction. Oops. 
Okay, boarding mode. Not train boarding mode because it will confuse uh, the system. And now this should be okay. Uh, but so I forget one more thing. I uh, I need to add the filter to this because I if I do not put the filter, it will try to uh, try to fill the loc locomotive too, and we don't want it. And let's get here. Link started. Link created. Okay. Now, if we uh, let's um, make it run slow. Okay. Fleet loader. Thank you. And I need to put some fill in in you. Okay. It is filling. Uh, and I do not want uh, the four. Okay. Uh, if no liquid is moved, uh, it starts running immediately. And it's also immediate. Filters are complete. No. Immediate. Transfer. Stock. Okay. I will put it on the stock. Uh, Think MGD because we want to keep uh, the same amount of uh, items in both sites, and it will be also the same here. And okay, stock, and you will be. I need to ac have access to you, uh, have immediate. Okay, immediate means. Uh, run immediately after there is no movement anymore and we need to dig a bit more to get into our system and it's coming i can make it faster actually let's let's make it a bit faster uh the speed is not necessary because it will be just carrying items and i made an oopsie Okay, this is the wrong or, or right orientation and this is also the right orientation. Okay, now this should be... This is okay and we are waiting for this guy. And after this guy is done, the train will start moving move again. Okay, the orientation got fixed. Uh, trains are... Uh, railcraft trains are good but if you do something wrong it they can act a bit buggy uh that's because actually the minecraft cards uh code base is uh, a lot hacky a lot lot hacky and voila the train will continue on its journey and we just need to do rest of the stuff here. Okay, we put some pipes here, so we have power here. And then what we're gonna need is just okay, it's slowly but surely gonna place the power. And now what we're gonna need is just the seeds. Let's get the seeds, and then uh all I have to do is Pretty up everything and connect it with logistics pipes. And we actually here we also gonna need a drawer network too. Uh, it's probably gonna be here, but let's put these guys here. First, oil berries. I'm gonna place the oil berries. And they will be here. Voila, voila, and voila. Okay, I just realized something around here. Air quality drops, so I lost some seeds. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway, that's a bad news, but okay. Actually, uh, we there is a way of... Uh, Improving the air quality, but I need to make it on a much upper level. Actually, that this should be. What's your air quality? Six. Okay. 
That's nice actually, but why is those uh, guys are lower and those are guys uh, those guys are higher? Garden, garden. Okay. Uh, interesting. Interesting. I need to research a bit more, but anyway. We're gonna need more seeds too. And with that. Actually, let me just get some VDAX, more VDAX too, and yeah, that guy is going to work. And I will get some more seeds, uh, not much, but a few more. And this area will be the oil one. And yeah, then we are gonna move the, those guys. And also uh, place a 3x3 three three, uh, blaze area. And then this area will be... I will probably add... Uh, replace these guys with mana glass. So to be get better air quality. Because uh, they usually require a di much direct uh, sky access. And yeah. And those guys are okay. Anyway... Uh, we are gonna... I will probably uh, get more seeds and place them here. But uh, manually getting seeds are a bit cumbersome. So I will probably move to a, a more interesting uh, way of doing things. Actually, let me just get the Terra Wards. And you will be... Let's get the best ones. Grow. This is a really good one. And yeah. And with that, I will probably move to open computers. And with open computers, we finally get access to robots. And with robots, we have better crop breeding. And with better crop breeding, you know the rest. You. Fuck. I wasted a uh, uh, thing magic, but anyway. Uh, I can easily make more. And so blaze read is relatively easy to get. And yeah, I will probably add some random crops between a, those patches, and with that we get actually a really efficient thing majiggy and also essence berries. Those are going to be needed. Indigo, the dyes going to be important. Actual dyes can the dice can be in between because they don't I do not need much die but I need a constant supply of dice and yeah this is our current uh, situation I just need to hook up the logistics pipes and but I am currently a bit tired so I will do it later and I will probably add a simple building here a simple extension here, or just a wall of uh, thingy minjigis. And yeah, this is Crafty Scrafty, and have a nice day.